PSG could make Ronaldo move. Coleman announces transfer plans. Ericsson to the Bundesliga, a transfer roundup, and today's great debate all coming up in the next few minutes. As I am your host, Matt Foley, you are the one footballers, and this is the Daily News. So first up and following on from yesterday's story, the Juventus are about to put Cristiano Ronaldo up for sale in the summer and PSG Sporting Director Leonardo has had his say and basically he's pretty much said that PSG are one of the only teams that can sign him because they've got the money to do so. He said that anything can happen in the transfer market and well, there are a few teams in a small circle who could afford Ronaldo, PSG is one of them. Now this isn't a full-blown admittance that they will be going for the Portuguese forward. Having said that, I really think that he would be top of their list, especially when it comes to transfer dealings next summer. I know we said they're talking about different contracts and in fact later on we'll be discussing the potential challenges for Cristiano Ronaldo, but Alongside this, if PSG do renew the contracts of Mbappe, Di Maria, Neymar, still having Cristiano Ronaldo in there as well would just be an absolute dream, both on the pitch for PSG and off the pitch as well as they're building their brand, obviously all their ties with Jordan as well. It would just be perfect in so many senses. And along with this, Ronaldo gets to add a load more trophies to his cabinet as well. That never ending quest to be the greatest of all time will stop at no cost. Quickly though, before we move on to our second story, make sure you smash that subscribe button, of course, to keep up with all of the other content we've got going on on one football. But moving into that second story, and it's Ronald Koeman who's laid out his transfer plans and they do not include a replacement for Ansu Fati. The wonder kid will be out for around four months after surgery on his knee, but the Dutch boss has said that they are still interested in a centre-back and a forward player. Now, let's break this down. First off in the centre-half region, I think it's going to be Eric Garcia. Like, yes, they could go and look at the likes of Upamecano or more expensive, bigger players, but deals are so difficult to do in January, especially when you're a team like Barcelona who apparently don't have much money to spend, so Garcia is the perfect fit. He said he wants to leave Manchester City, they'll want to get whatever money they can for him before he leaves in the free in the summer. He wants to come back to Barcelona, he'll happily sign with the club and he's a good enough player to step in to the first team and learn from the players who are already there. I just think Garcia could be such a good fit and apparently 7 million is what it's going to cost. Even, even Barcelona don't need to sell to be able to raise 7 million. Having said that, on the flip side of this, I'm not so sure they'll be able to get the forward that they want. The rumoured one is Memphis Depay and apparently if they want to bring him from Lyon, they're going to have to sell first. This is in complete stark contrast to the Lyon president who has said that Memphis Depay will finish the season with Lyon. So I've got no idea what's going on there. Yes, his contract is running out and yes, Lyon could charge around 20 to 25 million and the fact that that's too much for Barcelona without having to sell a player first really just tells you how far they've come financially or how far they haven't come. Whatever the bad version of that wording is. Anyway, on top of this, it looks like if Depay doesn't come, well then Antoine Griezmann is going to continue as the main forward at the club alongside Lionel Messi, even though recently Griezmann's agent has said that Lionel Messi runs a sort of terrifying ship at Barcelona and you're either with him or you're against him. Next up then, and talking of transfers that could potentially happen in January, Christian Eriksen. Now we've spoken about him quite a lot on this channel because his move to Tottenham from Inter Milan hasn't quite worked as planned. Antonio Conte isn't a big fan of the Dane and it looks as though he won't even be getting minutes in the upcoming games. In the last few matches, he's failed to even get on the pitch. Eriksen just really hasn't suited life in Syria and apparently a move to the Bundesliga could be on the cards next. He's always said that the dream move has been to Real Madrid, but after that didn't happen from Tottenham, and now after a poor showing at Inter, he definitely won't be moving to Real Madrid now. Even if a swap deal for Isco could suit Inter Milan, I can't see the La Liga champions bringing in Eriksen and hoping him to have any sort of impact. So, a move to the Bundesliga gives three potential destinations. The first one is money bags hurt to Berlin. Not necessarily the stature of club that Eriks is used to playing for, but they do have a lot of money to offer him. The second one is Borussia Dortmund, and this will be a rather interesting prospect for Eriksen and for Dortmund, but at the moment they've got so many attacking options in that position. The only way that it would work 
Personally, is that if Renier, who's on loan from Real Madrid and apparently really unhappy with his involvement, goes back to his parent club and then they've got a space for Ericsson. But the most likely for me is Bayer Leverkusen. The simple reason being that they lost Kai Havertz in the summer and they need someone to replace him and Ericsson really fits that mould. Next up then, a quick round up of the rest of the day's news that you might have missed. And Johnny Evans is set for contract talks with Leicester over a new three-year deal. Mario Mandzukic could be back in European football with La Liga side Celta Vigo. Dominic Sommers line, the RB Salzburg midfielder, could be moving to sister club RB Leipzig. And lastly but not least, the Brazilian from Sao Paulo, Brenner, is interesting Arsenal as well as a host of other European clubs. Finally then, we come to this week's great debate. This is where the guys in the One Football Newsroom put their heads together and ask you a question. This one comes from one of our senior content editors who's so excited about the release of the new Football Manager beta. So, he's asking, which team should he be in the latest Football Manager? Personally, I'm going to go with AC Milan, the biggest sleeping giant in European football. Now, I don't know how many of you guys play Football Manager, but they've got a really exciting team. You could take them back to their glorious years of Champions League finals, Champions League wins and Scudettos as well. And on top of this and all the exciting players they've got, Satan Ibrahimovic at age 39 is still proving he's got what it takes to be one of the best in Europe. Definitely sounds like a rather interesting challenge for me. So let me know your great debate answers in the comments section below and check out the rest of the stuff that we've got going on on OneFootball by clicking here or here. That's it from me though and until next time, I will see you guys later.